Welcome back to Daytime Auto here on Rogers TV. Well, we have a dog in studio, which means that uh, the entire crew is ignoring the humans and just concentrating on the dog. So if anything happens, we can blame Scotia, who joins us on the show. <laughs> also joining <laughs> Scotia is Samantha Cooper, founder and head trainer over at Ability Dogs Thank Canada. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure, Samantha. Yes. Um, so let's first of all talk a little bit about your, your background uh, as a trainer. Absolutely. Samantha. So I've been training service dogs for 25 years. And uh, I got into it originally because I have two daughters with special needs. Okay. And I went on a wait list to get a service dog and it was really long or the, the application processes were all shut down. So I went back to school and started out with training my daughter's first service dog 25 years ago. And then you created uh, Ability Dogs Canada. Tell me yeah. a little bit about how that came to be. Well, there's such a, a, there's a drive for needing these dogs yeah. and there's not enough trainers and not enough schools to cover what the needs are, especially after COVID. Right, of course. So, and, 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 you know, this is really specialized training. So, you know, just you, the training you had to take, can you sort of walk me, me, me through that? Because it's not like me taking my dog to absolutely. obedience school, yeah, right? So it's very different than pet training. Right. So we're taking dogs and going out into stores, grocery stores. We can't let them grab buns out of the bulk bin, you know, right. those kinds of things. So we have to really be very uh, careful with obedience training and getting that whole first year is all about getting them out in the community training them on you know in elevators and making sure they can do stairs and not steal things right out of any grocery store i could have uh, used you with my jack russell i'll be honest with you oh yes oh my goodness my goodness he gets in himself into some trouble um tell me a little bit about uh, scotia the breed and, and why you've, uh, you've chosen this particular breed yeah so this this is scotia and she is a purebred yellow labrador retriever okay and they're resilient dogs they love everybody they yeah. are so good with, like, we could go near something in a store, like, you know, the things that clean the floor, and she's just like, oh, that's neat. She's not stressed. They have, you know, the anxiety isn't there in Scotia, and so she's solid, solid dog. How long does it take to, to train from, from beginning to, you know, you're ready to hand over a dog? That's a big question we yeah. get all the time. So we start the training at eight weeks of age. Okay. So they're about the size her head is now. <laughs> gotcha. And it takes a full two years to fully train a service dog. Wow. But the training never ends. We kind of just keep on going because a family that gets a dog, situations may change. They may have a new baby come into the home. So we are there for the whole duration of the dog's working career. And different types of service dogs. So there's a service dog and then you were telling me there's also a, an intervention dog. Yes. Can you tell me what, what's the difference between those two? So an intervention dog works with a professional to help them do their job. So okay. often with victims or people in crisis. So we have dogs that go into courtrooms to sit with the victim while they're testifying, things like that. Right. We have another dog that's in the school system with a counselor, and that dog is a non-judgmental being that children will talk to. Right. And counselors can, you know, get through that and yeah, it's a sense of comfort, right? I was telling you, I remember in... <laughs> Scotia's having fun. She's got a bone instead. Yeah. I remember in, in Montreal, at one point at the Montreal airport, they were bringing in intervention dogs for, for people that, you know, were, were afraid of flying. Exactly. So there, there's, there, there's, a, I guess, a myriad of different purposes, right? It's very true. And studies have shown that the presence of a dog, a well-trained dog, I must say, yes. uh, can bring down those heart rates and, and really help people relax and get into a better frame of mind. Um, so it, in, in your care, how many dogs in general, or do you do you have volunteers that help out? How, yeah, how does so that we work? have volunteer foster families. Okay. So the dogs, we get them at eight weeks, and we have foster families, and they, they commit to about a 16 to 18 month time frame okay. to basically raise and come to class and, and help train the dog. Then the dog comes back to us, and we do the advanced training, and then the dog goes to its person. Um, you mentioned some of the things you do with the dog, you know, obviously socializing and bringing the dog to a whole bunch of different um, places, right, where you have to train. So what other training? I mean, do you do some of the basics with the dogs Absolutely. as well? Absolutely. Right? Yeah, we do. We have to have a really strong foundation with the basics before we can build on it with the, the harder stuff, like pushing access buttons and being able to go into public bathrooms and squish into a little stall but not peek of under, course. right? You yeah. don't want them peeking under. Of course. So we have to really work on making sure they, 
they have that etiquette too. Samantha, what about the cost? I mean, there's obviously a cost involved Absolutely. here. Um, who, who bears the brunt of that cost? Do you get donations? How, so how do we you... get, um, it comes from different ways. So okay. we, we get donations, but we also have families that fundraise. And um, so a fully trained service dog costs between 20 and 22,000, right. which is, uh, you know, covers them for their whole, their whole career, right. basically. So we place the dog, the dog's already spayed, the shots are all there. And then after the dog goes to that person, then they would cover the next bit of cost. Does every dog work out? No. Okay. So sometimes there might be like a medical problem. We do get all of our dogs from CKC registered breeders. So in hopes okay. that because we know the background that we won't have any challenges, but uh, occasionally we might have a dog that has allergies and we can't place them. But then very occasionally we'll have a dog that just doesn't like to work. Right. And yeah, you, you temperament, right? Like a human, drink. right? I mean, yeah. they have personalities that are individual to exactly. themselves as well, you right? You can't make the horse drink the water, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is this the only breed that, that you no, work with? No, we actually have standard poodles as well as okay. we just introduced a new breed, an Alapahal Blue Blood Bulldog. And it's not the bulldog that you would normally envision as the short little stocky guys. These guys right. look like boxers. And they are very, very smart. And we're really enjoying working with these for this breed as well. Samantha, the last question is um, just for, you know, tips for people out there. You know, we all love dogs and, you know, it's it's natural to go up and say hi. And uh, But when it comes to a service dog and an intervention dog, um, really, that's not welcome. Right? Exactly. So view the dog as a piece of medical equipment. Okay. You're not going to go pet someone's wheelchair. Right. It'd be kind of intrusive, right? Yeah. So we don't want people, when they see a team, to distract the dog. And we don't want them to ignore the human and talk to the dog because that's just disrespectful too. So if you have something to say to someone, you want to say good morning, you see the dogs there, you just say good morning to the person. Right. You don't pet, distract, talk. And this is important because people who have medical challenges sometimes can be triggered yeah, by having absolutely. that, especially Samantha, our PTSD Really appreciate people. the time today. Thanks so much. Thank we'll you. be right back after this.